Welcome back to my Ultimate Doom Builder Doom 2 tutorial series. This is part two and we're just going to build upon uh, what we did before. So you can see I have my map one from before loaded up again. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Now this is a very basic area. We just have a square, four player starts, and a sky, and some kind of grassy thing. So for this video, I want to flesh out the starting room a bit, make it look, you know, not like a little box and show you how to just do some details and add new areas in. Okay, first thing I want to do is make this a little larger and a little less rectangular. So I'm going to hit V for vertex mode and just drag some stuff around, make this a little bigger, make it a little irregular looking. So drag some extra vertices in and I'm going for an outdoor area. So it's just going to, you know, kind of be random ish. No, no. 90 degree angles and straight lines and all that stuff that is, you know, unnatural. I'm going to hit T to go to thing mode, drag a box, bring all my player starts down here. Now, I think the next thing I want to do is sort of logically have a, a thought on where they came from. So I'm going to add sort of this boxy thing right here. Do something like this. And if I go to visual mode, you'll see if I can find my bearings. Okay, we kind of got this protrusion right here, this ugly protrusion. And we still only have one sector, so we're going to we're going to put a door here, a fake door. It's not going to be operable, but that will add another sector. I'm going to zoom in on this area with the mouse wheel. I'm going to hit Control D for draw mode, and I'm going to create a 64 by 16 box right in the middle of this. As I'm drawing, you'll see that it's calling out and showing you the lengths of each line def. And I'm going to click, and now we have two sectors. So hit S from sector mode, and if you look at where it's highlighted, you can tell this is now two different sectors. And you'll see the same thing in visual mode. I can highlight this, or I can highlight this. Same with the ceiling, this or this. Okay, one of the tropes I really like about Doom 1, I tend to follow this a lot in my own maps, is that you have this silver starting door wherever your player start is. And that just gives you a, you know, like a sense of continuity or a sense of realness to it. I, I'm not a huge fan of Abstract Doom. I really like your Doom 1, Episode 1, Episode 2 UAC bases. So that's personal preference. I mean, you'll develop your own styles and this may not matter for you, but this is how I do things. So I selected and opened the line def. Let me open this up so that you can see what's going on. Um, I'll cover upper, middle, lower here in a minute, but for now, all the walls we have only have middle textures and they only have front sides. These are all one-sided line defs. There's nothing on the outside and you can't go through them, so they don't have a backside. And so they're also impassable. Uh, there's flags you can set on line defs. Impassable means that players and monsters can't walk through it. Anyway, let's fix this texture. You just click this. Gonna pop up this with all the textures that are available. And there are some filters on the right, so I'm just gonna go to doors, and here is door three. This is 64 wide by 72 units tall. So hit that, hit okay, hit okay, and now we have a door that, let me turn things off, get those guys out of the way. We have a thing here that's just too tall. So I said it needed to be 72, the texture is 72. I'm gonna select the ceiling, drag this down, and if you watch at the very bottom left, it's telling you what the height is. So here is 104, 96, 88, 80, 72. Now we match our texture. And we have an odd sky thing going on here. This has to do with, you know, when the ceiling here is a sky texture, and that's also a sky texture, the upper line def, or side def, whatever you want to call it, is not going to render. So this is a trick you can use to to make some different ceiling heights and sky features. Um, we'll get into this later, but for now, we actually don't want that. I'm gonna select the ceiling, change this. So I'm gonna click base. Here is all the flats that are available under the base category. One thing you're gonna run into if you're doing like a vanilla style or boom map, Doom has two different types of images. There are um, there's textures, which are only for walls, and then there's flats, which are only for ceilings and floors. So you'll see up here, this says browse flats. This is because I'm on a ceiling. 
you're, you're limited. You can only use flats on floors and ceilings, and you can only use textures on walls. And within Doom Builder, there's nothing you can do to change that. If you want those textures available for you know, floors or ceilings, or you want flats on walls, you're going to have to do some editing with another application called Slade. And, you know, plus like paint.net or Photoshop or whatever your editor of choice is for graphics. Now, this is vanilla Doom 2 format. If you're doing GZ Doom or UDMF, that does allow you to mix them and you can put wall textures on floors and floor textures on walls and it doesn't care. But that's not a possibility in this format. Now, I'm just going to use this ceiling 5 underscore 2, you know, back to our topic at hand. Hit OK. Hit OK. And the sky went away on this little upper surface, but you'll see now we're missing a texture here. So this is just Doom Builder being nice and telling you it's missing. Um, if I were to actually launch Crispy Doom, this is going to get pretty weird. So. You'll see how the, the ceiling is kind of bleeding out. So this is a quirk of the Doom engine something to be aware of most of the time when you see this this is considered a mistake but you can do some pretty cool effects with it if you know what you're doing anyway back to doom builder so we want to fix this this missing texture here now all these walls out here these only have mid textures there is no upper or lower section now that's different here because this is, uh, this is between two sectors, and they're different sector heights. So if I just right-click this to pull the menu up, you'll see it's showing that I'm missing an upper texture. Uh, and the rest of these, they're, they're not visible. There's no way to see them, so it leaves them blank. So I'm going to select an upper texture and just pick something, anything, brown one. There, now we have an upper texture. You can also set mid textures. Um, I will do this just for example. I'm just gonna copy in this into the middle and show you what it does. And you'll see it created this thing here that is now hiding the door, but if I get really close, you know, the door is still on the other side. This is where like fences and gates and grates and that kind of stuff tends to come into play. Or if you wanna create like a, a thing you can walk through, like a wall that's secret. So we're not gonna do that for now. We're just gonna blank this out hyphen key to blank it out. Next thing I'm gonna do is put some detail here. I'm gonna select these two side textures and I just happen to have this memorized because I do this a lot, but we're gonna use light five, just like that. And this is a trope I like, your silver start door, light five at full brightness. So we'll do 256 on the sector and you'll see how that kind of glows compared to the areas around it. Last thing I'm gonna do is, uh, next thing, not last thing. This is totally unscripted, by the way, so I may say dumb things and I'm not really gonna edit them out for the most part. So we got this little starting thingy here and you'll see how this is misaligned. In Doom Builder, you can highlight a texture, hit Control A, and it's gonna attempt to auto align everything that it touches that is the same texture. So if I just, intentionally misalign this a bunch. I'm just using the arrow keys while it's highlighted that drags your texture around. Point here, hit control A, and it fixed that. It did not fix the upper. And this is this has to do with your vanilla formats. UDMF won't do this, it'll work a little better. And I'm gonna explain this terribly. Um, there's upper and lower unpegged flags on the line def. And if I upper unpeg, I'm not going to do a good job of explaining these. The, the terminology seems backwards to me. I'm not 100% sure what they actually do. And so I tend to click things until they look right. So bear with me on that. But now it lines up. If I misalign this, go over here, auto align, that actually works now. So that's because it's upper unpegged. If you ever have like a upper or lower texture that you're having trouble getting lined up, just play with the pegging settings and you can probably get it working. Anyway, next thing I want to do is I want, I think I'm gonna make it look like there's a wall surrounding like the back side of this. And we're gonna make this building look taller. So I'm going to go back to overhead mu uh, view. And I'm going to just go control D for drawing mode. And I'm gonna do this. 
I'll see why in a minute. You can also you can right click to end drawing mode. You know when you think you're done. So I think I'm done here. Right click, added two new sectors. Just created these. Uh, I'm gonna make these match. Sort of look like there's the tunnel going back here. And now I'm gonna select these two new sectors. They're both selected. I'm gonna use the scroll wheel and drag them up to about here. And I want these to look like a wall, so I'm gonna shift, select all those, shift, select all those. Now this is a lower texture. And we're gonna look at bricks. What do we have in bricks? I think for this one, eh, we'll just use big brick too. Gotta start somewhere. Some of this might change later. Okay, next thing I wanna do is I wanna make these back surfaces disappear. See these walls that I'm highlighting? I don't like those. I'm gonna go back to visual mode and we're going to abuse sky textures for this. I'm gonna click this corner, something like this, right click here, 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 right click. This vertex is extraneous, so I'm actually gonna remove it. And I created two new sectors, one here, one here. Go back to visual mode. I'm gonna grab both of those sectors. So those are highlighted, and then I'm just going to use my scroll wheel and pull them down to floor level. And you'll see that that back just disappeared. So now, if you look at it from ground level, um, I just hit the G key. So you can turn gravity on or off in, in the visual mode, and now I can move around from the player height. And so you kind of have this, you know, multi-level 3D effect here and you know the back disappeared. Now if I hit tab to turn enhanced rendering off you'll see there's upper textures that are missing back there. This is kind of like an abuse of the Doom engine but at this point it's pretty standard. Everyone does this and all the source ports are they're going to support that pretty well. And last thing I think I want to do for the snippet we're just going to take these floors and change them to something that lines up with that brick appearance. So let's look at base Maybe flat one. I think that works. And then we're gonna auto align these bricks. Make sure everything lines up. And yeah, if I turn think mode back on, we are starting to have a starting area here that looks like Doom. 